what were the most difficult experiences in terms of church life that in the larger scheme of things helped the people de to develop their Christian faith. I would like to uh, answer to this question in the position where I am. You know that I've been in Rome many years. I've been in Rome for 44 years, from 65 to 2009. I've been back here only now. It's the first year. That's more than four years now. So my experience in the present uh, situation is very limited. However, um, I see that when you meet the difficulties, when you are challenged, um, your faith, your convictions will become stronger in some way in the Redentorist Mission. The same book, John 2 said, the faith will increase, will strengthen when you give it to others. When you are challenged, you do not only try to give, but you find a way to show to the people your own faith. The difficulty, I feel, may be The more serious challenge we are facing now is the challenge maybe in the Philippines we have facing face many years in, in the West. That is the coming of our of secularization. This new style of life. The profit, the passions, the easiness, the commodity. When the difficulties come from outside, it challenges you to be yourself. When the difficulties penetrate into your heart, it transforms you into another person. You do not resist, but you follow. So the difficulties, I think, the real challenge is the community, the secularized society, which we all are feeling and have to face. And the difficulties, even more serious, is this community life penetrated to the thinking, not only of the people, but also in the life of the religious and priestly life. We are the way of thinking, doing. So gradually, we feel the emptiness in our heart. So I think this is the more serious, more dangerous challenge for all the societies, maybe in the Philippines, you have uh, faced many years already before Vietnam. Many Vietnam, at least from 1990 or 1994 until now. So we are more or less about uh, now 20 years. 20 years. This type of life, we call the economy, in your market. So it comes to uh, this reality. We have, uh, for example, even, even now when you, you will visit it, you, you visit the parish, you see that the life of the parish is still very, very vivid. The people are very active in their faith. But the presence of the young people has diminished very much. You will not see many, many young people as you could see 20, 30 years ago. So that is the sign. That is the problem. When it is easy, and the community enter into life and into the thinking and then you have a more difficult thing for the life of the church. Uh, Father? Does it worry Pope Francis visited the Philippines that uh, in his homily in Rodeta he defined the of Filipino people, he said, the 
the Filipinos are called to be missionaries of faith in Asia. So my question is, number one, what is the meaning of that to you as our Asian nation? The meaning of Filipinos as missionaries of faith in Asia, in particular in Vietnam. Number two, in the context of uh, Pastor's dialogue, what is your aspiration uh, of Vietnam? Maybe I would add two questions in one. For the history and for the position of the Philippines, in fact, Philippines is the meeting point of many people in history. For the life of the Church of the Philippines, for the universities that have been developed in the Philippines, Many people from other churches in Asia actually uh, in the Philippines for the studies. Therefore, the Filipino church does not need to go anywhere. There already they can be missionary to the churches in Asia. Because we may call also the people, the, the selected people of Many churches in Asia are sent to the Philippines to study. That is the, the first position. The second, for the need of the labor searching for the work which is now moving in all the world. But the Filipino people is present everywhere, even in the Muslim countries. So they can be, by their position, they can be missionary of the faith of Christ to many people, even to the Middle East countries, Muslim countries, very difficult for the people to enter into those countries. But many Filipino people are there. We, as a Vietnam, we can expect uh, maybe as the offering in the economy, maybe the Philippines can, cannot offer to Vietnam as much as Japan, as Korea, as Taiwan, as China, etc. But the Church of the Philippines can offer to the Church in Vietnam the possibilities of a higher education. Now in our diocese, actually we still have a four or five priests who are studying in the Indonesia, just to say our diocese and other dioceses. So in the position in the Philippines are uh, in the first way can be missionaries get a transmitter of the faith to many countries in Asia, if not to say also other countries in, in the world. Now, that is the position. But the missionary, the Philippines church, the Filipino church, can accomplish this mission or not it depends on the church of the Philippines. You have uh, the opportunity which other countries in Asia do not have. You cannot emerge in another country where there are many people to go to study, particularly the higher the study. They are not. And then the Filipinos, many are Christians or Catholics, and they go in many places. So the church in the Philippines has a privilege opportunity to offer the faith to other countries in Asia. But if the Filipino church offers the faith or not, it depends on the Filipino church or the church of the Philippines. It depends on the church of the Philippines. But the position to have.
any other. Uh, Bishop in Evangelical view of Pope Francis, the Holy Father identified popular piety or popular devotions as a strength of the new evangelization. In other words, uh, popular devotions have been, uh, for the most part, a means to strengthen the faith of our people, the joy of being a Christian. Uh, uh, can you describe the popular religiosity of the Vietnamese people, their devotion to the Blessed Mother, the cult of the saints, their devotion in terms of recitation of the Rosary or the Venus? Do, does, uh, the Viet uh, do the Vietnamese people have the same kind of experience like Filipinos? The Vietnamese people, the Vietnamese church has a devotion, popular devotion. I don't know if the same as in uh, the Philippines. I've been in the Philippines a few times. And, uh, but usually I was in uh, religious houses, so I don't, I did not have uh, much contact with the people in the parishes. And, but some, uh, some meeting I did have, and I did see uh, the Marian devotion of the Filipino people. But now I just say I don't want to compare between the Vietnamese people and the Filipino people, but just to say in uh, Vietnam. Now we are approaching now the, um, the month of May, Marian month. So maybe you can see immediately the Marian devotion in all the places, in all the parishes. They have a, certainly the rosary every day, they have a, uh, the processions with the flowers in uh, every Saturday, they participate in all the parishes. And the pilgrimage uh, to the different Marian centers in many places here in the in church in Vietnam. So you can see clearly in the recitation of the rosary, as I have said. When now I go to the parish to give confirmation, which now is my custom, I always go to give every, um, uh, every boys and girls from a rosary. And very often, many other people waiting there, they want to ask, and then they, they do not dare to ask. Because if they want us, I could give on, I have to give on the patch. Every day, one wants to have a rosary. Um, they may have a little day on, but the rosary is a gift from the bishop. But they appreciate the rosary. If I give something else, maybe they don't appreciate so much as I give a rosary. So just two um, manifestations to say that. The devotion to Our Lady in Vietnam is really very strong among the people. And that is the, um, the secret uh, of the faithfulness and the strength of the people in the difficulties. Say Rosary, Olum or Together. In our seminary here, study on the seminary, say Rosary is every day. Yes, yes, Coming from the airport, by the roadside, we see someone has red buttons with signs of the communist uh, symbol. Uh, somehow, it reveals to us that Vietnam is still predominantly control, controlled by the communist. Uh, how does the church feel in this particular situation in Vietnam with communist government? Yes. There are many signs you can see, but the presence is not always equal to the signs. 